Okay, let's do a, a, a vector line integral. Let's compute the integral over a curve C of f dot dr, where f is the vector field 1 comma y, and C is the curve, which is a quarter of a circle, the quarter which is in this negative quadrant, and it's oriented clockwise. So first of all, let's just look intuitively and, and think about what it is that we're going to expect. So we're integrating over this portion of the circle in this orientation. And I want to ask myself, what do I expect if I go with the flow of this vector field? Do I expect to see a positive result or a negative result or zero? So looking along this curve, taking the dot product of the vector field with the tangent vector to the curve, I should expect to see positive results all the way along. So a zero right here actually at the start and then positive, 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 positive. There's a positive amount of the vector lying in the direction of the, of the tangent to the curve. So should I, I should expect the entire line integral to be positive. So let's compute it. Uh, step one, parameterize the curve. So the curve is a portion of a circle. It's a circle of radius one, and it's oriented counterclockwise. So I'm going to use cos t comma sine t to parameterize it. It's important to say that the parameter goes from pi to three pi over two because it's just this quarter of the circle there. Now we can set up the whole integral. The integral over the curve of f dot dr is the lower bound and the upper bound in terms of the parameter. And then I'm going to take the vector field at each point in the curve, that's f evaluated at r of t, and I'm going to dot that into a little tiny displacement. That's a little tiny tangent vector, which tells me how much of that dot product is, uh, computes that dot product all the way along the curve and adds them all up. So let's see what each of these things are. Uh, each of these things are. Uh, first of all, f of r of t. r of t is cos t sine t. So f of r of t, I've written it up here, f of r of t is 1 comma sine t. What I do is I take the y of t and I plug it in for y. So I get 1 and then y of t, which is sine t. r prime of t dt, well I can just compute r prime. r is cos t comma sine t, so r prime is minus sine t comma cos t. Now let's take their dot product, I dot this vector into this vector, and I get minus sine t plus sine t cos t. So now I have a basically a calc 1 integral. I can compute this thing by taking antiderivatives. Uh, this one you can use a nice u substitution, take u equals sine x, uh, sine t, I'm sorry, and uh, integrate it, and you can get 3 halves. And that's great because we expected a positive result. We didn't know exactly what it would be, but it corresponds with our intuition for measuring how much we go with the flow of this vector field as we go along the curve.